Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Recently uh, I got a question from one YouTube user who asked how to make this slide, on, slide down page right here uh, which first of all slides down once you click this button and you can also close it with this button but uh, if we open it one more time and we scroll down and reach this point right here it automatically closes so here here's what I have come up with here also I have a open button and when I click it this slide down page opens and I can close it right here and if I open it one more time and scroll to this point right here it automatically closes so yes that's what we're going to be building today so enough said let's get into coding it so we'll start with a uh, HTML, place a div, give it a class, and this class will be called slide down page. And inside this div element, we will have a anchor tag. It's href will be equal to pound sign because it will not lead anywhere. It's class will be first of all first class will be close second will be button and will text of it will be close and let's place another div real quick give it a class of content and inside this div will also have a anchor tag travel with pound sign and this will be a open button whoops and we'll have a first class will be open second one will be btn will say open and that's it uh, for html now let's get into css so as always we'll make a basic reset set margin and padding to zero then we will style our buttons real quick uh, we'll set display property to inline block we'll remove that underline so text decoration none for our links we'll set a different font font family real quick open sans sans serif then we'll change the background color of this button to a blue color also the color of the text set it to white and last thing we'll give it some padding top and bottom padding 20 pixels and left and right or five pixels and left and right 20 pixels so that's it for our button buttons and uh, now we'll get into slide down page its position will be set to absolute so we can hide it using a negative top position its width will be 100% box sizing property will set to what not border, border box but content box so the height that we set uh, in, in, in jQuery will be the final height of this element and background color we will give it a dark gray background color and we'll text align to right that's it for a slide down page and now content page so We'll give it a height of 1800 pixels also give it a padding top to push this button down a bit and also give it a background color of lighter gray and align the text to center and that's it for HTML and CSS now let's have a look what we have so far yeah that's that's looking 
that's looking good as you can see we have our open and close buttons right here now let's get into jQuery so first of all let's place some variables right here and first one be window H and to this variable we will set uh, our windows height or or browsers height so we can uh, uh, give this value uh, to slide, slide down pages height so window dot height uh, next thing is document element we will set a document uh, to a variable because we will be using that later on also slide down page we'll, we will target our slide down page right here and also our content page dot content um, also buttons we will target both buttons so target a class of btn and also we will save uh, animation speed uh, those are just the, the, the just the number uh, we will be using this to set uh, our animation speed those will be 500 milliseconds or half seconds so first of all we'll target a slide down page I will give it some CSS properties because we want to give it uh, the same height uh, as Windows height so once we once we open our slide down page it takes up full height of the browser so uh, height will be equal to window H plus pixels and also we want uh, we want to hide the slide on page once uh, we load load this web page so top property will be set to minus window height plus pixels so save it let's have a look at it yeah as you can see we have hidden our our slide on page so next thing is we need to attach event listeners to our button so on click we'll fire a function Whoops. right here and first of all we need to determine which button are we clicking so if this uh, which refers to the button we're clicking has class and we'll check if we're clicking an open button so if we're if, if this has a class of open or in other words if we're clicking the open button then we want to first of all target slow down slide down page and animate and here we'll set the properties that we want to animate we want to animate top position and we want to set it to zero so basically we we'll want to show it and the speed will be anim speed so if we click this we are sliding down this uh, slide down page so refresh it have a look at it as you can see it slides down and we also need to set another functionality right here so we, we slide down the page and we want to push the content page down so content animate we will animate mar margin top I want to animate to um, the same height as the slide down page and if we remember here we set the height to window height so we also will set the margin top to window height 
plus pixels and the speed will be the same so save it let's have a look at it if you click the open button as you can see our slot down page slides down and we also push down this content page and now else if we're not clicking the open button or where in this case we're clicking the close button so we want to well we can just copy this and paste it right here we want to slot down page animate the top position to not zero but negative window height plus pixels and the contents margin top you want to animate to back to zero pixels and right here when we click those we e dot we want to prevent the default action of this link so save it refresh have a look at it open close yeah it's working fine so far and uh, but the last thing we need to is set this functionality once we reach this point we want to close this uh, slide down page so we want to our get document element give it a event listener of school event listener say function and so first of all we need to make sh we want to deter determine uh, when we are when we are past this point right here when we have school past this point point so once you we need to place an if statement which will determine that so if this not school top is greater than slide down page dot height so in other words if we if we have passed we have if you, we have passed school past this point right here so if the school top is greater than this this height height of the slide down page and if the slide slide down page css top uh, property is equal to zero pixels or or if this determines if it if it's open then you want to do do the following things so first of all one the slide slide down page is css uh, top position to be set to window height plus plus pixels and we're not using the animate uh, animate property right here we're using uh, we're targeting the CSS because what we don't want to animate we just want, want to uh, change change it over uh, we want to change it really fast so also content dot CSS that mar margin top property we want to set it to zero and the last thing one document element school top to be set to zero right here so save it let's get into browser refresh it it's working fine and once we scroll past this point yeah our slide down page as you can see right here if I if we can scroll up and it disappears so yeah everything's working as it should so yeah thank you uh, for watching I hope that you understand understood everything that we did right here and and yeah thank you for watching and see you next time bye